Hello guys, in this video here we will be taking a look at another Acer gaming monitor. In this video we are looking at the Acer Nitro KG242YP. It is a 24 inch monitor with a resolution of 1920 by 1080p. So it's been a long time since I've used a 24 inch display and a resolution of only 1080p. But I've been really enjoying using this screen now testing it in a few different games and such and I've been really liking it so keeping it short and if you don't want to watch the whole video I can absolutely recommend you this product if you get it at the right price and you think it fits your needs uh, so some of the reasons why I really enjoy it is because of the IPS display it just gives you nice and rich colors so gaming and such gives you a nice experience when it comes to the environments all of the colors and such really pop on this monitor here so for being an IPS display this monitor here got a high updating frequency of 165 Hz which is more than enough for me and 165 Hz is fairly high for being an IPS display also for me personally everything over 100 Hz I can't really tell the difference but somebody will but 165 hertz that is still very high for those competitive players and when you combine that with the input lag of minimum 0.5 milliseconds to 1 milliseconds you will have excellent like tracking and aiming in on targets it's just very easy and controlled so playing on this monitor here I really enjoy using it when it comes to the overall like control in competitive first person shooter games. So the only downside with this IPS display is the contrast ratio of 1 to 1000 but for me that is not really a problem. The brightness of this monitor here is 250 nits so it's not like super bright but as long as you have it in a normal room that isn't like super bright I don't really see that big of an issue but if you compare it side to side to like a higher uh, luminance or nits screen you will see the difference and it will look a little bit more dull but since this is a IPS display with nice colors uh, it's not too bad it would be worse if you were like looking at a TN or VA display of I guess 250 nits. So the overall look of this monitor here also looks fairly good and you got two HDMI uh, 2.0 inputs and also display port and the aux out and you also got the built-in speakers which I really like if I don't really want to put on like a headset if I'm just gonna watch some videos or like news on this monitor testing it for a light bleed with all of the like lights turned off here I have to say I don't really find any issues here at all on camera it maybe looks a little bit worse but in person this doesn't look as bad at all and I have to say this is one of the best monitors that I've tested when it comes to light bleed so I think they got their design and production right with this monitor so testing with ghosting and such I've now filmed and turn down the speed of the recording we can see that the image stays very nice and clear thanks to the high update frequency and I have to say we don't really see any ghosting at all so uh, I have to say when it comes to ghosting and such and the overall updating frequency this monitor here is very good and it provides you very nice and clear images so we will have a easier time like tracking targets so the monitor is only 250 nits which isn't very much but we can see here in a fairly well lit room we have natural light shining in um, one light source in the roof I put it to max and we also have these spots up here and I have to say it isn't really an issue for me all of the colors and such are really nice and bright so even though it isn't like the uh, brightest monitor I think it's fine so here I'm testing the screen against the Acer Predator 273 UGS um, so the screen here is 250 nits and as I talked 
it isn't the most and brightest and we can see a little bit of a difference to this uh, 273 monitor it is 400 nits so yeah when looking at side to side there is a slight difference this here is a little bit more dull since it's under 250 nits and this is of course brighter so it is not as bright but 250 nits for me uh, at the desktop and not like a laptop I would say it's fine even though I would prefer a higher brightness but for the price I think it's still uh, pretty nice but I also wanted to compare it to this uh, XP273 UGS because it's basically very similar monitors this here is a 1080p monitor 0.5 milliseconds input lag and 165Hz but 1080p and then we have 2560x1440p uh, with the same hertz frequency and input lag and IPS display as well but it's a little bit brighter but like say the price here is almost two times um, as high so it's really up to what you need I guess uh, when we go looking at objects that are far away I have to say you get a much better user experience uh, using a 1440p display like say if you are playing Warzone with enemies at a long distance they will have less detail uh, when you see them like and also when it comes to text and such a 1440p monitor is better but at 24 uh, inches it's not too bad with 1080p I guess but uh, it's something to keep in mind. You are uh, compromising with using a 1080p screen. So I really like them both. It really depends on what your budget is and what you're looking for in the screen. For a gamer that is uh, going to play at more close combat games, 1080p it's just fine when it comes to 24 inches and it is only like when really looking into decent objects that are small and text and notice the 1080p otherwise everything about this screen here is really great but if you want to put in more money a 1440p display absolutely makes sense if you have the system to run it at 1440p and you will also have a larger screen with uh, a better image but it also costs uh, very much like the curve is like going right up when it comes to price and such but overall i think this here is a really good screen and i can absolutely recommend it find the price correct and it fits your budget and user case and i think you will be happy with this monitor here Oh, I got it. Oh, Tomahawk. Stabbed up. Fucking hell, this is hectic, man. Incoming. We're pulling ahead. 